Oh, someone's at the door. Eek. Oh my God. Okay, curry at the door. I have just about enough time to quickly blend this. Quickly, quickly. Ah! One second. As young as the minute is full of it Getting pumped up on the little right things I want But I know they'll never own me Good morning and welcome back to my channel So today I thought I'd get ready with you Kind of like a morning routine, only it's gonna be real life. I'm going to give myself 20 minutes. It's now eight o'clock, so 8.30 and you would be ready and out of here because I've got a meeting to go to and yeah, time is, time is running out. I haven't actually put anything on my face this morning yet. Other than I just use a little bit of micellar water and my Charlotte Tilbury eye makeup remover just to rem remove anything from the night before. This is my Radiance Boosting Serum by Vichy. I'm gonna put that all over the face. Honestly, my skin felt like sandpaper then before I put this on. I think it must be the central heating I've got going on. So this is my Energizing Cream by Vichy. It's a really nice moisturizer, again, from the same range. It smells like cherries. <laughs> I'm gonna add a few of my Tan Lux drops to my moisturizer just to give more of an even color from the face to the body. Otherwise the face is looking white, the body's looking more tanned. With the moisturizer, I just put a little bit on my hand and then I put in a couple drops of the Tan Lux, just like two little droplets. And then it's really important to really mix it in with the moisturizer. Otherwise it can leave a few streaks. And then obviously wash the hands afterwards because <laughs> I've had that situation as well, it's not good. And then I just spread that onto the skin and neck. It gives a really natural sun-kissed glow, which is what I need. <laughs> so I'm just going to talk you through as well my kind of everyday morning routine. A lot of you have been asking me about what I use on a day-to-day -day basis makeup-wise. So instead of doing something crazy with a smoky eye or something, I wanted to just kind of talk you through my everyday makeup. Okay, under eyes, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and then I just smooth it out like that way. Apparently if you go this way, you can create bags. So I always go out like that and then just above. So once I've done that, I'm now gonna use a primer. Going with the slightly more bronzed visage, <laughs> I'm going to use my Tom Ford bronzer primer. Then I'm gonna use my Sigma Kabuki brush just to blend it in. It looks slightly dark when you first put it on, but when you blend it, it looks much more even. I feel like it brings a really subtle glow. Also gives a really nice dewy, fresh base. For foundation, I'm using my Givenchy Blurring Balm. This one has a really good color because it's slightly warmer than my usual color. This one is the Nude Honey. And then just blend it in. I really need to get one of those bands to take back my hair because sometimes the foundation gets on the hairline. It's kind of annoying. That is my foundation base done. So now I'm just going to put a little bit of pressed powder just to keep it in place. Oh, actually, no, you know what I'm gonna do? Okay. So, I had this makeup in my bag. I was like, where is my makeup? Now you know that it's definitely all my go-tos. Lash glue in my bag. Also gonna pop a little bit of lip balm on. This is my Clinique lip balm. I love this one, really hydrating. It's the Pep Start Clinique lip balm. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Concealer in Ivory. Just really like the consistency of this. Put it up here to brighten down there. Put it along here to get rid of that redness down there. And then I put one there because these are my lines. Maybe they can always do with a bit of highlighting. It's kind of amazing, right? Um, I'm gonna just blend that in using my Beauty Blender. So yeah, a lot of you were asking what makeup I was wearing the other day in one of my videos. So I thought I'd just give you the breakdown today. Okay, so we've got 15 minutes left. Okay, running out of time. 
to set the foundation base, I'm going to use my compact powder from Rodeal. This one is the banana powder. What I like about this colour, it comes out translucent, but the yellow kind of neutralises any redness and gives a brightening appearance to the skin as well. The brighter the better. Also, I feel like it doesn't sit on the skin, which is always a plus. Then I'm going to use my Dolce & Gabbana Honey Matte Bronzer. I'm using my large creme de la mer blending brush. Just in a shape of three. Got a few spots there. Oof. Just under the jawline for definition. Go in with my angled brush and just contour. Just on the side of the temples. Maybe the side of the nose. Now it is time to use some eyeshadow. I'm going to use my favourite palette by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to use the colours from Desk Eye. They're just like a really lovely warm bronzy colour. I'm using my Marc Jacobs brush. So I start off with this colour here and then I'm going to use this for the crease. To blend out, I'm going to use my blending brush. All the products, by the way, that I'm using for this makeup is going to be linked in the description box below. I'm going to go back in using this middle one from Desk Eye, just that warm burnt orangey one, just to blend out. So there's no harsh lines. I don't think you should be able to see where the colours stop and where they start. So now that's nicely blended out, quite easy, simple. We're in a rush, so I haven't got that much time. I'm now going to put on a little bit of mascara and then the lashes. For mascara, I'm going to use my MAC mascara. I'm not going to curl my lashes because I'm going to be using false lashes today. So for lashes, I'm going to use my Samantha lashes by Huda Beauty. These are the Samantha lashes. <laughs> Nearly lost it then. That was a close call. What I do is I put the mirror underneath me so then I don't have to move my eyes so much and then we have less chance of it not going to plan. Voila. Eyebrows, I'm going to use my Givenchy eyeshadow. This one is a cream eyeshadow in Torp Velours colour. Um, it's also for eyebrows and it's waterproof, so it's really, I really feel like it stays in place. Just brush up, just so I can see where all the gaps are. Now that I've applied the Givenchy eyeshadow on my eyebrows, <laughs> I'm going to use my Legendary Brow by Charlotte Tilbury, which just basically keeps them in place. Such a small brush, it like grabs every hair. They're like bushy eyebrows. Okay, now for highlighter. So I'm going to use my Iconic highlighter. Here. Above the lip. I can't find my beauty blender. It's done a runner on me, so we're just gonna use this brush for now and hope for the best. For lipstick, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Matte Liquid Lip in Dolly Bird. I'm going to use my lip liner in Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. Just to give definition. For a little bit more of a highlight, I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. And then just under my eyebrows. And then in the corner of the eyes, I'm just going to use this one. That is my everyday makeup look. Okay, I'm not going to have time to do my hair before my meeting, so I'm just going to put it back in a ponytail, high ponytail, and get changed, so I'll see you in a bit. What are you? The coat I'm wearing is from Topshop, it's this gorgeous burgundy patent coat. The top underneath is from Topshop. It is just a turtleneck, but it's not got any sleeves. So it's like a sleeveless turtleneck, which is great because I don't I get too hot when I'm in like full body turtleneck. <laughs> the bag is from Gucci. It's this waist bag. I really love it. This is a Gucci fanny pack. No, it's definitely not the name for it. <laughs> so the jeans I'm wearing are from J Brand. They're a burgundy color to go with the coat. They're coated jeans, so they look really shiny. And the boots are from Saint Laurent. 
I'm gonna put a link to everything I'm wearing in the description box below, but this, there's a special name for this one. It's like Gucci Marmont Malatas bag, but I'm just gonna call it my Gucci belt bag. I've taken the belt off this coat and just using this belt bag as my new belt. It's my first actually time wearing a fanny pack like this. I kind of feel like I'm a little bit pregnant. Um, it's gonna take some getting used to, but I really like the way it kind of ties the outfit together. Let's do the check. It's gotta fit both my iPhones in it. iPhone Plus. There we go. Not bad. It's passed the test. <laughs> the earrings I'm wearing are my favorite ones from Eddie Borgo and Ryan Lowe. I'm heading out the door, I'm going to go to this furniture shop and also pick up a few things. But now I've got to run. See you later.